Hello students, welcome to our first lesson in Inkscape. Uh, Inkscape is a graphic design program, also sometimes called a vector graphics program. This is the icon you're looking for. It's on your desktop uh, if you're a student in my class. And it sort of looks like a mountain shape with the ink falling out of the bottom of it. So if you double click on that, Inkscape is old software. So it takes a while to load. This is what it looks like when it loads, but it's going to be slow. So go ahead, double click on it and then be patient. Um, unfortunately, Inkscape does not have a tablet version. So there's no iPad version for Inkscape. There's other software you can use uh, for vector graphics. Um, and specifically, the most famous uh, vector graphics program is called Adobe Illustrator. So this is definitely a slim down version. And I've even had some students learn both. And they tell me that this is way easier to learn than Adobe Illustrator. It has, um, it's a little more obvious. So uh, right off the bat, I want you to see that it's kind of defaulted to the widescreen mode. So there's a lot of tools on the side over here. That's not the format that I prefer. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit view up here at the top. And then we're going to go down here and go to default. The default is kind of the old school way that I was trained to use Inkscape. So now the button, most of the buttons are up here. So for instance, this is the save button. As we go through, you're definitely going to want to hit the save button as we go, because this program does not auto save. It is old school software. It does not auto save. It might warn you at the end, are you sure you want to close without saving? Um, but really, I, I, I don't want to trust that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose file save, or you can click the save button. Uh, when you click the save button, it should pop you open a little window uh, that asks you where you want to save it to. Mine, of course, is having a hard day. So I've just clicked on the save button and nothing has happened, which is very strange. Um, it should have popped open a, a window by now. Let's try si save as. Maybe that will work. Um, and there we go. So I'm in a, a tech seven folder um, and I'm just going to call this um, poster 2022-23, uh, and I'm going to click save. I don't have to put the ending on because it's already got save as type right here. Um, so as long as I'm in the correct folder, if you need to create a new folder, by the way, there's the create new folder button. It's easy enough to do. Um, and if you're in my class, one of the things you'll notice is you'll want to click desktop. And then after you click desktop, you'll want to click this OneDrive, which will save it to the internet. So it's uh, you can access it from any computer anywhere. And then uh, once you've done that, I'm going to go down to my Tech 7 folder. And there you can see that I'm going to save it to this folder. So I click Save. Up here at the top now, you can see it says Poster 2022-23. And uh, there's nothing in front of the P. So I want you to notice that there's nothing in front of the P. I'm just going to do a very, very quick thing where I just draw a box. So you saw me there, click the box button, draw a box. I'm going to change the color to orange. Uh, and then I'm going to use the top black arrow button to resize it a little bit. And then I'm going to click one time and rotate it a little bit. So I've kind of done a lot there. You don't need to know all of those steps right now. But the most important thing you need to know is I did something. And there's a little star in front of the P up here right now, which is telling me that it hasn't saved my last changes. So whatever I've done lately, it hasn't saved. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the Save button. The little star disappears. You could say File Save. That does the same thing. Or you could, uh, as you see here, it says File Save. It says Control S on your keyboard. You could hold down Control and do S. So again, I'm just going to change it a little bit more. Um, so let's change it this way. And then you'll see the star reappears. And then I want to click Save again. Okay, so that's just a very, very fast introduction to Inkscape. More to come in the next video.